appreciate it. Tonight, getting into yet another McKellar beer. Taking a look at, this is their Imperial Mosaic IPA. So, very excited for that. 8.9% APV on this one. Not too sure if this is a single hopped Imperial IPA or not, but let's get into it and see. See what we think of her. Really uh, recently put on the shelf at my local beer shop, so I mean I know it's not going to be super super fresh, but did just get here, so let's hope for the best. Well, look, guys, nice cloudy, beautiful golden kind of orange, more of that murky kind of orange to it, actually. That light beige, really packed head on it. Looks pretty good. Let's check out the aroma. Yeah, it's it's not overly fresh, I'm guessing, but I still get the nice mosaic quality, the really tropical. There's some orange, there's some big caramel malt coming through. Kind of that standard for a McKellar IPA, that malt backbone is pretty big usually. It gets just a nice bit of sweetness off it too. Ah. Yeah, I would say compared to other single mosaic hop IPAs I've had, this one does not smell anything like that. Still smells pretty good digging in. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's definitely get a little more on the flavor, though. Still, I don't know, I get that, get that pretty big malty caramel kind of balance to it. Not even a balance, because I hmm, don't want to say it's dominant over the hops, but. Really faint dankness to it. It has like a lemon grass quality as well. It's not screaming mosaic hops to me, but still, it's still pretty tasty. I'm not picking up that 8.9% alcohol on it at all. It's actually got a light, light medium body, not overly bitter, doesn't finish too dry. Hmm, mosaic, eh? Fuck, I wish there was a bottling date on these McKellar beers and a lot of other breweries as well, but I just hate the guessing game. It's shit to me, man. It's just shit. Oh, to me, it's like um, just a well balanced double IPA. It doesn't come across as a single hop mosaic. Maybe I'm sure there's some mosaic in there. Or maybe it is all mosaic. I don't really know. No, I'm still really, really enjoying it. I'm so I'm gonna give it an 85. It's really tasty. Just think it's missing on that mosaic a little bit, but probably one of the you know, up there for McKellar's IPAs for me. Anyway, thanks for joining me on the review, guys. Till the next one.